The rather unprecedented manner in which Gavin Williamson was removed from office yesterday has raised understandable questions about the implications for the armed forces. But I think, looking forward, we're likely to see continuity rather than change as Penny Mordaunt takes the helm at the Ministry of Defence. The reality is that any incoming Secretary of Defence has three clear responsibilities. Firstly, defending the armed forces' budget. They faced severe cuts without a reduction in the expectations on their capabilities, and therefore defending their budget is a core responsibility of anyone taking the helm at the department. The second is supporting experimentation to enable the force to modernise. And the third is building up an evidence base to inform the inevitable strategic defence and security review that will have to follow Brexit. The Ministry of Defence can't commit at this stage to major spending plans on the force, given that it doesn't know how much money it will have. That will only become clear once a Brexit deal has been reached. And therefore, the Defence Secretary should lay the groundwork for working out the best decisions and choices possible at that point. I think Penny Morden will really continue in the path that Gavin Williamson was on uh, under his leadership. She certainly was very supportive of his uh, standing up to the Treasury when she was at DFID. And as a reservist, she also has a good understanding of the force's needs uh, and also their limitations. I think she will be, have the confidence of service chiefs and therefore it should be a pretty easy transition from that point of view. The real question at this point is at a time of unprecedented political uh, challenge across White Westminster whether she can clearly articulate that need to colleagues across the road.